Hello guys, in this video, we're gonna discuss about the quadratic form of any of the matrix. Okay, so here first we'll see the definition of quadratic form. What is that? Homogeneous polynomial of second degree, second degree in any number of variables is known as what quadratic form. Now, here this is a new word. This I hope you know second degree homogeneous polynomial what is the meaning of that that basically means in any term of any this equation suppose if we take this equation so each and every term the degree should be what same homogeneous polynomial means in each and every term suppose this is one term this is another term this is a third term so in this term the degree is 2 in this the degree is 2 again and here also the degree is 2 hence we can say this is homogeneous polynomial and therefore we can say how it is quadratic quadratic basically mean you know that it is second degree it should be second degree so quadratic always remember second degree 2 degree see here 2 2 2 so this is the example of what quadratic form okay so you might be asking now the question comes here what is it there are two kind of questions one they will give the equation and they will ask you to form the matrix and the vice versa is another type of question okay so write the matrix of the quadratic form 2x square plus 3y square plus 6xy you can see here the each and every term the degree is 2 okay so you need to form the matrix now how to form the matrix always remember here you have to see whether how many variables are involved variables how many variables are there x and y okay x and y variable so two variables hence your matrix will be of order 2 cross 2 simple and always remember whatever you are getting the matrix that will be symmetric now what is the meaning of symmetric symmetric matrix means if suppose a is the matrix okay a is some sort of any matrix that it will be equal to a transpose that means whatever given matrix it will be equal to whenever you find a, a transpose it will be equal to the the given matrix we'll see we'll see okay so we'll just find out the so always remember you have to first see how many variables are involved from that you will get what is the order of the matrix here we can say it is 2 cross 2 that will be symmetric also we'll see okay now what will be the value of a11 a12 a21 a22 now question is this okay so we need to write all the values all the elements of the matrix now always remember the diagonal matrix what will be diagonal matrix see here a11 will be coefficient coefficient of what of x square next a22 that is another diagonal element it will be the coefficient of the other variable that is y square okay got it now a12 and a21 will be same a12 and a21 will be same that will be the coefficient of what the left left out what is the left out one xy you can see over here xy so what you need to remember a1 is nothing but coefficient of x square a22 y square a12 and a21 is same why it is same because as i said it is symmetric we'll get to know okay so coefficient of xy simple what i'll tell you one trick what is that one one you consider x to be one y to be two that's it a one one what is x so x into x it is x square y into y it is y square x into y or y into x it is xy or y x it's the same thing in that way also you can remember or you can make your own way in order to remember these things okay now a11 equal to this much so i'll just write it off a11 coefficient of x square that is 2 so it is 2 a22 which is coefficient of y square it is 3 and a12 and a221 will be same what is that coefficient of xy that is 6 so and one more thing 
I forgot to tell you that you have to take half of this. Okay, into half. A one two and A two one will be half of coefficient of x y. Okay, I forgot to tell you. That's fine. So it is three. Okay. So you have to just uh, form it in this matrix. So I'll just form it. A one one two. Here also here three. Here three here three. We have got the matrix of the order two cross two. Now why it is I I I said already that it is a symmetric. It will be a symmetric matrix. Now if I name it as A matrix, if I try to find out the transpose of this, what is transpose? That means you have to interchange the row and the column. So row is this one. Change it into column. So two three. This second row change it into second column. That is three three. Now you observe whether it is same or not. It is exactly same. Every element is same. So it hence it is said to be what symmetric. A is equal to A transpose. So it it is symmetric also. So this is how you have to find the matrix of the quadratic form when it is given. Okay, we'll try to find out one more question based on three cross three. So here you can see write down the matrix of the quadratic form. 2x square plus 8x 8z square plus 4xy plus 10xz minus 2yz. Okay. So how many? First step is that how many variables are involved? X is there, z is there, and even y is there. Therefore, it is x is there, y is there, z is there. Okay. So therefore, we can say the matrix will be formed of the order 3 cross 3, and it will be symmetric also. So we'll just form the matrix. So here we have a11, a12, a13, a21, a22, a23, a33, sorry, a31, a32, a33. Okay. So here the same thing a11, a1, a22, a33. These are what diagonal elements, and here it will be the coefficient of x square, y square, z square. That's it. Okay, same thing. Now a12, which is equal to a21, a13, which is equal to a31, a23, which is equal to a32. I said already there is a best way to remember this. Consider this to be one, this to be two, this to be three. So one two you need to find out what one two. So one two and two one. 1 2 that means x y so coefficient of half of coefficient always whenever it comes 1 2 1 3 different uh, row different elements not the same okay so then what do you need to do half of coefficient half you have to do coefficient of what x y coefficient okay now here 1 3 1 3 it is x x z half of that Coefficient, okay. Remember coefficient, not half x z. Two three, it is y z. So half of coefficient of coefficient. Now simple. You have to just form the equation. So I'll directly write the matrix. A one one is nothing but the x square. What is x square coefficient? It is two. Okay, you can just see the equation over here. Now a one two. What is a one two? Half of x y. What is x y? Four. Four. So half of that it is 2. Okay. Now the next thing. A13. That is half of coefficient of xz. xz is this one. 10. Half of that is 5. Now A21. A21 is same as this. A21. A12 and A21 is same. Okay. A13 and A31. Same. Okay. You can just write it off. And what is coefficient of next one? A22 coefficient of y square. Here you can observe that y square is not there, therefore it is 0. A23. A23 is this one half of coefficient of yz. Yz coefficient is minus 2, so it is equal to what? Minus 1. Therefore, this term will be also. See, these two terms are same. This and this are same. These two are same. Like that, you have to understand and do. Okay. So here next one, this is 3, 3, that is coefficient of z square. Z square coefficient is 8. Always remember you have to do here half, not here. Okay. Now we have got the matrix for the given quadratic form. Now 
we can just check it up whether it is correct or not by just finding out the transpose anyway anyways it is the same because we got the same we are writing the same values we are writing the same values hence we can say but we'll just interchange and see whether it is same or not okay 2 to 5 2 0 minus 1 and 5 minus 1 8 it's the same thing okay it's not like that i'm writing the same thing okay i'm interchanging it you can just check it up 